Hello, my name is Teresa Kelly. I have been doing nail videos. I have been doing um, Halloween face makeup videos, um, but I'm trying to kind of just venture out, try things out of my comfort zone, try new things. And one of the things I was like, you know what, I need a new profile picture because my current profile picture is from when I did my face as a cuckoo clock. So I'm currently at 2 a.m. on my... <laughs> on my uh, profile picture. So I was like, I wanna try something different, what can I try? And so I was like, you know what? I just wanna go from that daytime mom to the nighttime look without doing a whole lot um, and without completely taking off whatever I had on to put all brand new on, like how can I just build from what I have? So as you see, I don't have a whole lot. My make or my mascara is still on point, of course, because this stuff lasts all day, um, keeps it lifted all day. So I have not done anything. It is currently about 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, I put all my makeup on about 7, 7.30 this morning. So the mascara is still doing well. Um, even after a chiropractor's appointment where my face was squished um, in the uh, headrest. So I lost a little bit of my, um, my bronzer eyeshadow then. Um, I do still have um, the highlighter glow up through here. A little bit of my bronzer. Um, and so nothing on the lips right now. So I'm going to take, this is me right now. <laughs> this is how I look 90% of the time. Um, taking this from into like a nighttime look or if I was going out on a date night or whatever. Um, and so I just wanted to do that. Um, one of the things I'm going to experiment with on here that I have not done um, on my own is um, I've been practicing uh, with the hooded eye effect. Here you kind of see that where I didn't go super high with my um, eyeshadow this morning. This was literally like a three minute morning as far as makeup goes. And so I, um, I lose, like you can barely tell I have eyeshadow on because of my eyes hanging down. I actually have like two creases. You can see one, two, uh, where most people have one. So I've been experimenting, um, with some things, but one of the things I keep seeing on videos is, um, bringing it not only up, which I have been doing, but also bringing it out. So I was going to try that. Could be a failure. Um, I'm okay with that because you only, um, learn new things by trying them, right? Uh, naked nails, super weird. Um, I have been wearing color street nails for five and a half years without any breaks in between. So to see my, my natural nails is super weird. Um, but to, I was experimenting because if I can find them here, uh, we just, ex we just came out with some new products, a ridge filling, uh, nail primer, uh, which I have two layers of that on and then a plumping top coat. Uh, so I, that's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. Um, I've had it on for 24 hours now. Super proud that I haven't thrown nails on over top. Uh, if I were like going out on a date night or something a little bit more extravagant than just my standard mom day, um, I would probably throw a glittery nail set on um, as part of my thing, but I'm not going to do that on this video. You can see lots of other videos of nail applications. Um, so I'm just going to put on some of this. Like if I'm coming through the day, I might be a little washed out, which I'm, I am right now. I'm just going to add some of this, uh, what's it called? Maybe banana powder. Uh, banana powder matte effect Catrice. Um, it's, it's pretty inexpensive, but it's lacking a lot of crud in it, which I like. Um, I don't like stuff that's full of a lot of crud. Um, so I found that I like that. And just to balance out my skin tone a little bit, I use the foundation, which I put on this morning. I'm not reapplying foundation because I'm going to build what I already have. So we'll see if it works. Um, so I always start with my bronzer balm. Um, and I love this stuff. When I first opened it up and I was like, whoa, that's dark. I'm like, that's not going to work. And I love it because it's so buildable. I can get my daytime look, uh, literally just doing a little bit with my fingers or as we see now, I'm going to build it, um, to give me more of that, uh, nighttime look. 
And so I just go right below and kind of bring it up to lift up my face. We all need lifting when we hit 40. Hit 40 this year. Um, so again, I'm going to go a tad darker than I would during the day. But what I love about this is I can build it. Um, if I, if I'm like, well, that's too much, I can literally, um, tone it down. Or if I'm like, you know what? I need some more. I can build it and I can come back to it. If I'm like, eh, I still need some more. Okay. So I got all kinds of light, weird light stuff going on. Um, the other thing I like, uh, this for, I've shown how I use it for my eyeshadow, but I do use it for my brows. Um, I don't do a whole lot with my brows. Um, I should probably get them waxed more than I do. Um, I maintain them a little bit when I'm doing my dermaplaning that I do myself. Um, so I just use this bronzer balm to kind of even them out. I'm a natural blonde, not blue. And so, um, I kind of get a little bit of that where it's like darker in some areas, lighter in others. So this just kind of evens that out. Um, I don't do a whole lot with shape, probably should. Um, but for now, this is, what, this is what you get. Um, okay. So now I'm going to use normally my go-to blush every day is bashful and I love it. You can see the sparkle there. It's amazing. Um, and it's a great, just soft, adds color to your face, but, um, I'm going to use Hustler instead, um, for this look, um, which gives a little bit more of a, um, more colorful look, if you will. See me use my, my mirror because I'm blind. Okay, so I just go right above as an artist, um, I like with colored pencils or with paint, whenever I go from a darker to a lighter and they're touching, it's like in my nature to blend the two, like where they meet. So it's not like a stripe and a stripe. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of Hustler. Got a little bit more redness to my face today um, in general because I did do my dermaplaning last night. Um... Okay, and then I'm going to use my favorite, and that is, it's a mess, Superstar, uh, which is a highlighter balm. Again, I use my fingers. Um, I do still have a little bit of residue of that from earlier today, um, but I want that to be more bling for the evening. I'm not used to that darker blush. I've been on the fix of doing the, uh, what's it called? The bashful. Okay, we're gonna do that for now. I'm kind of just, this is a different brush, just kind of blending between them. Um, I'm gonna go back to, I forgot, with the bronzer balm, with just a little bit on my fingers. Hitting up the insides to kind of define the nose. Okay, and then with the highlighter balm, zapping down through the middle a bit. A little bit up on the eyeshadows, or up on the eyebrow area even though I'm gonna do some blending up there when I do the eyeshadow. Um, for lips, just cause I hate looking at dry, my dry lips, um, or not really dry, just naked. Um, I'm going to do my lips next. And I have, I couldn't find the, it was called Throwback, which is a deep brown. I uh, couldn't find that, so I'm gonna use Batty. 
Um, again, this is Color Street as well. What I love about Color Street is it's super rich pigment. So you don't have to go over, over, and over. And actually, you don't want to do that because it can cause transferring. Uh, one swipe is like all you need. You do not need to keep going over and over it. One swipe, and then it's non-transferable, long-lasting. Um, I'm going to leave that on for a few, and then I'm going to put our diamond dusted over it here in a few. Okay, so I'm going to experiment with the eyes. Obviously, my mascara is still pretty good. Um, what I would do if I'm going out is I would start halfway up and add to it. But I'm going to do my eyeshadow first because it's like pretty non-existent right now. Um liking how the cheeks look right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna use for my eyes is my Mary Kay. This is one of my favorite palettes that I use from them. Um, I don't even know if they have this anymore. Um, I bought two of them because it's my favorite and I believe it was seasonal, but it's a duo glittery set. Um, so I'm gonna use this dark, actually I take that back. Um, I'm going to use a matte finish first, and then I'm going to get into the sparkles. Um, I'm going to use, do I want to use this? Um, I'm going to use this Bare Minerals. It is called, again, probably retired um, Firefly. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. I also dip my brush in a little bit of water. Um, I like to have more of a creamy finish on my brush versus a loose powder where it's like falling all over the place. Um, so I am going to, I dipped my brush and you can see, ooh, that's way more sparklier than I thought. That's okay. There's never too much sparkly. Okay, so I've seen a couple different things. There's some tools out there, which I do not have, of where you hold it here and you go up. So I grabbed something I thought would work, which is this <laughs> nail file. Of course, I have plenty of nail files. I cleaned it off. Um, so we're going to try that. Um, I'm going to start in the corner first. Um, just to spread this around a little bit. It's weird having my mascara on because that's usually the last thing I do. Um, okay, so next, let me dip back in my water. Okay, so here's where we see it, if it goes crazy or not. Okay, so, um, it's kind of like following your eye up. We'll see if I can do this blind too. Usually I'm holding my compact. <laughs> Go for it, right? Okay. <laughs> Surprise myself. That gave a pretty good line, actually. So again, with hooded two, it's coming up higher. So instead of this crease, like I've always used this crease as my main crease for my dark. I got to bring it up. Um, so I'm going to see if I can line that back up. And I'll do some blending here in a second. Interesting. Okay. I like watching. I learn most of the stuff I do. I've learned from other YouTube videos or other people giving little tips and tricks. Um, I'm a very beginner. And so that's why like, I want to share because a lot of people that are sharing things are um, not amateurs. They are like uh, professionals or maybe they are... Shit, I forgot to do this part first. Um you know, have been doing it for years. So like, I want to know, like, is this stuff, can I do this as a beginner? You know what I mean? And so and I'm a very beginner. Um, other than just sticking with my normal routine and what works, um, I don't usually, I'm just now starting to venture off at 40 years old. Um, and what works for my eyes and face and everything else. 
Okay, so this is definitely out of my comfort zone going this far out on the sides. Um, the little tool thing, I think that's pretty neat. Um, it probably works a lot better than a nail file, but I'm still getting the line I was hoping for. So it's a little far out. Okay, so where the magic happens, in my opinion, and this is with art and with makeup and everything else is with um, blending. But before I do that, I'm going to do um, some glitter in the middle. <laughs> Gotta have the glitter. And with that, I'm gonna use the, um, the Mary Kay. So I'm gonna, again, dampen my brush just a tad, and I'm gonna go into that darker color and just add some more to that area. You can see that's a little darker than what I was using in a different shade. Okay. I'm just darkening up some of that. Making that more of like that triangle. So now you can see it. I mean, obviously it still looks crazy, but like from a distance, I actually have eyelids now or um, that area. Okay, so then I'm gonna wipe my brush off and I go, again, I don't do all the like change different brushes. Um, I have a few different brushes I use for different things, but for the most part, I just wipe and move on to the next and do a lot of my blending. So for um, the gold, I'm going to go here in the middle and I'm going all the way up. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. The other thing I found with dampening my brush a little bit is some of these glitters. I feel like you get more of the glitter, like the sheen of the glitter um, or shimmer. Like there you can see I got a lot more by dampening my brush. Okay, so I took that up a little higher, not all the way to my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna do a lighter color on the inside and um, one of the shades I like is this Mary Kay Liquid um, eyeshadow. This is called Light Beam. And I love this for the insides of my eyes for the highlight. Gosh, that eye is so blind. Okay, so I just put a little bit on there. And then with that same brush, again, I just wipe off to get excess off. And then I go right into my light color. Okay, and then same thing over here. And I like, what I do is I pull it towards the middle and kind of just let it blend naturally so it's not like lines of shadow. And again, I'm gonna blend better here in a second. And then what I'm gonna do, because if I'm going out, again, I like glitter. I really like glitter. So I am going to go in, isn't it crazy? Like, I feel like I look so much, I feel like um, so much more put together when um, I have a little bit more bling on the eyes, like it wakes me up. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, just for some highlight glitter um, and go into, what color do I want? That is the question. Do I want gold? We're gonna do two different golds mixed together. Because if I don't have the color I want, I get the color I need. So I'm going between these two colors, this like bright gold and a semi-gold. 
again, dampened the brush. Same brush I've used the whole time. Again, probably not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna hit up some of this inside again over where I already went. And more towards the lid, because again, my lid doesn't show all that much. So even if I go big and bold on that eye, it's not like a whole lot of it's going to show anyways. Um, so there's no worries with, in my opinion, of doing it up bigger. Okay. I like those two combined, actually. Okay, so now I do the real amateur thing and I kind of pull up to get out anything where I don't want it. We're going to take a clean brush. Um, I usually take my brush here, get any loose stuff off. I am going to lighten up my under eyes just a tad. Usually I do this earlier and I forgot. So we're just going to do it now. I don't get too much darkness under my eyes. Really depends on the day. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of where it went. I bought this recently for um, uh, Halloween, but I'm just gonna do a little bit on the inside of the eye here for a little bit of a highlight. Again, this will all get blended. This is a jumbo eye pencil crayon pencil. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna use my favorite brushes. Um, these are super inexpensive and you get like 12 or 15 of them um, off of Amazon. So just leave a little bit of that highlight there. Um, but I love this poofy in for blending. Um, I feel like it's poofy enough, but still having control. Um, so I, since I do a little bit of my blending as I go by pulling it in and kind of going dark, middle and blending as I go. I don't go over this as much because I want that separation. It's not a line. If I had lines, I would blend, but I'm just blending up here. Um, and I'm trying to pull away from the center. Again, not sure if that is what you're supposed to do, um, but that's what I'm doing. And I'm pulling out to follow that line. I'm not getting into that too much, okay? And then I'm bringing it up to meet. Okay, same thing on this side. I go away from my center because I don't want that dark going into my center. And again, when I'm blending, I'm trying not to go in to pull out too much dark. It's literally just blending with this new style. I'm going to use that other end for a more concise when I get to this level. Okay. This is way out of my comfort zone with it going out that far. But... I actually don't mind it okay and then I always do make sure I'm even see you can see my upper side now okay so then I'm gonna go into um, what do I want to go into I'm gonna go back into our highlighter bomb and I'm gonna use a brush And to bring that lightness up again. I don't want to get too much into my other. It's just to add that highlight. Okay. 
give that highlight to my brow area. Okay. I'm not sure if this is what it's supposed to look like, but we're going to go with it. I have always done my liner not on my waterline, but pretty darn close. I do not put mascara on my bottom lashes because I already have um, big eyes and when I have mascara on top, it's just like, it. I think it would be too, like too much. Um, so I typically do not put mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so I use that Mary Kay eyeliner on my bottom. I love this NYX liquid, uh, what's called Epic ink liner. Um, and see my lipstick has like kind of given more of a dull finish. Cause again, I only did one swipe and then I, um, let it sit. Um, okay. So we're going to continue this bigger eye than I would normally do. And I try to keep this line on top somewhat narrow because it takes away from what eyelids I do have. Um, I probably just went a tad too much there. Um, I'm going to follow that natural line I already have. And bring it back in. go really fast on this sometimes. <laughs> I realize my art brain gets going. Okay, I'll blend that where I got a little bit too much in the one. I try to uh, let this dry a little bit. This one is pretty good about drying pretty quick. Um, more like um, generic ones, like when you put your eye up, then it like gets rid of your cat eye. And so this one does a pretty good job of not doing that. Okay, so again, I come out and then I come back in to meet. For whatever reason, my left eye is always more complicated than my right. Does anybody else have that issue? That looks similar. I think it's pretty close. I'm just following that natural line that I made with the um, with the nail file. Who needs that thingamajig? <laughs> See, I don't even know the name of it. When you have a nail file, just saying. Okay. So, um, sometimes like if I don't have a whole lot of mascara on, I will gently use my curler over the like simple layer that I had, but I had, um, like one and a half layers on this morning. I don't want to do any damage to my eyelashes, so I am not going to use this. I'm just going to work with what I have. I have, um, like a coat and a half and by coat and a half, I mean like one full coat and then I just touch up like half. Um, that I put on this morning, my face was crunched at the chiropractors. Um, this is, uh, that was with our waterproof mascara, Triflex mascara. This is the non-waterproof. Um, I didn't have the waterproof one in front of me. Um, I'm not going down to the base. I'm starting about halfway up.
and I'm just gonna build to give that bigger eye. And I do that wiggle and swoop while lifting. Give me the bigger eye. What's crazy is I like everything I got going on right now and I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I should have done this on a night that I needed it. But if I had to see the clock picture of myself one more time that I posted for daylight savings time, which was two weeks ago, I was like, no, I need something better. Okay, so again, I go like halfway up. Lift, wiggle, swoop. Okay. Go back in. liner okay the other thing that I normally do and again I don't know I must have a makeup bag somewhere with my stuff in it um, that I normally use because I can't find it um, normally I use a loose bronze powder um, called posh um, for around my face to give me um, so my, I'm not like pale everywhere. kind of gives me that bronze look around my hairline. Um, but I'm going to use the, the, uh, bronzer bomb. Again, I can build that. Um, I can also use a, um, brush if I feel like I need more blending. Um, do a little bit along my jawline. Help hide that double chin. <laughs> okay. Where is my brush? Create that shadow underneath the jaw. Make sure that's blended. My dry hair shampoo or dry shampoo hair. Fluff that bad boy a little bit. And then lastly. I'm gonna see, okay, once I have my eyes down, do I need to do anything else to my cheeks? Um, I'm not going to because I don't want it to be too heavy on the cheeks. Um, I think I look pretty balanced. Um, but one of the things that I am going to add is our, it's called Stardust, and it's currently one of our um, specials going on right now. It is, look at that beautiful sparkle. Um, when you put it on, there's a little bit throughout, um, but it's just to give you kind of that lip gloss finish. Uh, so this one I do go over a couple times, but it, it gives me that higher gloss look. I love that color. So this is one of our specials right now. Um, we have all of our diamond gloss. So this is Stardust. Um, you can see that iridescent glitter in there. And we all know I love glitter. Um, and then um, I believe a couple of the other shades. Do not quote me on this. Um, but I believe one of the other shades on there is Mary. And it is an amazing red glitter. Or you can see like the lipstick there. So it's not like you're getting this full glitter effect everywhere. It's just enough to kind of give you that sheen lip gloss look. We're coming out with a lip gloss. And um, there's um, a, if you want to be one of the first ones to try our new lip gloss, let me know, drop a heart um, because it is being introduced in December. Um, and I will let you know how you could snag one of those. Um, but let me know, what do you think about the drawn up and out eye? Is it yay? 
nay, should I just stick to the eyelids or bringing it up? What do you think? So um, now I just need bling on my nails, but uh, I am loving this natural look. I did a video on the ridge filler and plumping top coat and proper like healthy cuticle care. Um, if you missed that video, check that out. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope this was helpful. Um, thanks for walking through my tutorials where I'm just learning and as I learn, I'm filming. So hopefully this is helpful and you picked up some tints. Um, this was 35 minutes. I would say without talking, without demoing, I probably could have done it in 15 to 20. Um, 15's usually if I'm going out, that's about how long I would spend. Being that this um, method of the uh, nail file worked, um, now that I know how like it works, how it shapes, I could probably get that down even to 10 to 15 minutes for this routine. Um, but now I'm ready for some evening wear and uh, a new profile picture. So hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.